Today is a super exciting day. We have this Mazda MX-5 2018 car that I've always wanted. I purchased it for about four grand and we're gonna get this thing tore down, figure out what's wrong with it, uh, get all the parts we need, get everything painted, get it back together and get it on the road so we can enjoy driving this thing. Let's get the build started. So I wanna review the damage that this car has. So most of the damage is focused here in the front so if you take a look basically in this region, the cross member or actually the crash beam looks fine for the most part. We do have a little bit of damage here on the flange, um, but other than that, the main damage is focused in this area. This top radiator support is damaged, um, so we'll need to replace that. It's uh, spot welded on, so we'll take care of that. Uh, there is some wiring damage on, down here, but it looks like it's mainly focused to uh, this headlight housing uh, wiring harness uh, and then the fuse box is actually cracked um, I'm not sure that we actually have any wiring damage in there um, but we'll have to inspect and figure out what's going on there uh, if you take a look at the suspension it looks fine for the most part we do have a bent tie rod in looks like an inner tie rod in this outer one uh, might be compromised as well and then we do have some tearing here on the K brace where the suspension arms bolt into. Other than that, uh, that looks like the extent of the damage here. Now, if we come along the side, obviously we have the fender is destroyed, um, and then the door is dented in here. We'll keep this door, but we'll body work that. And then if you come along the side, the side skirt is damaged, will need to be replaced. Um, and then as far as the damage there, that pretty much covers it. Um, on the inside here, uh, you can only open the door a little bit and then uh, the airbag is deployed in the driver's seat as well as the side airbag on the uh, the seat itself um, so we'll need to replace the airbag there also a note on these cars uh, in most new cars there's an airbag uh, device in the seat belt basically it goes off when it's in a wreck and locks the seat belt so we'll need to replace that as well Aside from that, that's pretty much the only damage on this side of the car. The other side is pretty good. Um, so we're going to get started just trying to dig, dig in and figure out what, what all is going on. Box all back together and fixed. Everything looks great there. Uh, the wiring for the headlight is all taped up so it doesn't short out. We need to replace those connectors. We got this front radiator support off. Uh, just allows us to see this uh, bar is fine for the most part. We do need to replace it because it has a crumple zone back here that's damaged and we got some damage here. Um, we're ready to start it or attempt to start it. Uh, we got the battery in, we've been charging it, we may need to jump it. We do have a bunch of codes that I'm going to clear just to see what comes back um, and kind of go from there. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's, let's go get it, get it started. All right, we're gonna try to start it. Roll down the window. All right, let's, let's add a second battery source. Go for it.
This is super close. What we're looking to do here is just get the Bondo on the door. Being that this is the first coat here, we're just trying to fill in most of the imperfections. We'll do subsequent coats here try to get this built up adequately. All right, everything's looking really nice. It's been about 20 hours. We let this cure overnight. This would be where most people are gonna stop and this would be fine for most jobs, most quick jobs. There's a very slight amount of orange peel, but overall it's really smooth.
Today is a special day. Today we finally finished the Mazda Miata uh, project that I've been working on for the last couple months. It's hard to believe this thing was destroyed in the front end because you could hardly tell from looking at it now. Uh, we got the bumpers installed today and I went and got all the paperwork needed to get everything road legal. So today is the day where it's officially done. Um, I really appreciate you guys sticking around for the build process. There were a lot of challenges, a lot of learning opportunities, but in the end, it was well worth it. Uh, if you have any questions, please go down below, post them, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.